This is video of Sheriff Marcos Lopez given to Channel 9 by the Osceola County School District. Watching it, it's hard to tell what's going on. There is no audio. But in this complaint to the school district, an employee says Sheriff Lopez came into the school to pick up his child, but didn't think he should have to show ID. Telling her she should never ask for the ID of the sheriff, saying it's offensive to do that to someone in uniform. Today, I asked the sheriff about the allegations and he told me what she said just isn't true. It's sad that we have someone in there who's lying and trying to prove a point with a law enforcement official, especially an elected law enforcement like the sheriff, that's personally known. So you, know? you weren't trying to say, no. because I'm the sheriff, I don't no. have to follow protocol. She knows me. The sheriff told me he thought the school employee was joking because they knew each other. The complaint says that the sheriff told her he was allowed to go anywhere in the school anytime he wants and doesn't have to show ID if he's wearing a uniform. But I think people are concerned yeah. that you would be going into a school saying, because I'm the be sheriff, I the can sheriff. do whatever I want to do. But that was never said. That's what I'm telling you. But you said I it was an ID. Statement. No, but this is a form of identification. The employee went on to write that the sheriff told her she didn't have the right to ask anyone who's wearing an Osceola County Sheriff's uniform to see their ID as the uniform is the ID and they've been deputized. He says if there's any doubt on who they are, the staff can call the SRO to confirm. The report says another employee did allow Sheriff Lopez to leave with his child without looking at his ID. But it's scary when people are in our school system dealing with children, they're lying, especially to a law enforcement officer or lying to someone else about an incident that happened. 